What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Abe For Reals back at it again with another cleaning video. Today we are cleaning the one of my boys, JJ, the same dude that I cleaned the Yeezys for. We're cleaning his CDs, G, CDG Converse or Como de Garcon, whatever, whatever you want to call it, CDG. The other one's hard to pronounce, so I'm not gonna pronounce it. Probably, probably just butchers it. So we're going by CDG. Personally, the CDG line for me, I, I love it, bro. This, it's so, it's a simple thing. Like, it's just the, the logo with the eyes, which is simple to me, but it's, I like it. I like it, you know. And um, you know, the whole less is more thing, which I really mess with. Uh, but yeah, it is. You know, the collab with the Converse that they did, which actually isn't bad. I really don't mind it at all. Um, but, but yeah, these shoes, they're beat. It's not too bad. Uh, one out of ten. 10, mm, one being like unwearable, 10 being like perfect. Uh, I'm probably gonna give it like a, like a five, six maybe, because they're not too bad. But then again, you know, they're not the best. It's just, you gotta get this uh, canvas clean really. And then there's some scuffs on here, which I'm, which I'm gonna try to take out. But uh, my boy said he doesn't really mind the scuffs just because, you know, it's, it's gonna happen, the shoes are gonna scuff up and stuff. But mainly what's gonna but mainly what we're gonna do, what we're gonna be focusing on is the canvas and these laces getting them back clean. I don't know if you can if you can see really how dirty they are on like from this point of view with the lighting and all that, but this but yeah, it looks like this what is this? This left shoe is worse than this one. So I'll probably clean the left shoe when we get to it just so y'all can see like a little before and after. And just like I did with the last video, I'm gonna go ahead and give y'all some view over shots up close so y'all can actually see it just in case the camera's not picking it up right now. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get to it and we'll see what we can do with these. with the shoes now we're gonna go ahead and uh, clean this left shoe like I said so let's get this right shoe and just toss it back there and um as you you know as I'll probably guess or probably not I don't know I'm gonna make a couple videos we're gonna be using Reshuvenator this ultimate sneaker cleaner which honestly I live by it die by it it's really really good sneaker solution y'all should go ahead and check them out but yeah you know, first off, I'm gonna show y'all, it's gonna be very similar to the Yeezy cleaning, except probably for the washing machine part. With this shoe, I'm gonna be very like careful with it just because of the CDG, the logo on here. I don't know how good it is on there. So I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be uh, jet, like gentler with it than I am with other shoes. Gentler, gentler, gentlier, gentlier, gentlier. But yeah, either way, I'm gonna do that and then yeah, so hopefully it doesn't mess up the logo. If it does, I can touch it up wherever I need to. But yeah, besides that, let's go ahead and first take off these laces. Now that we got that done, we're going to go ahead and put our shoe tree in here, adjust it to size. Um, I'm pretty, I tried this earlier, so I already got it set to the size that's needed, which is like the second to last hole. These are, and these shoes, just so y'all, it's a size 11? Yeah, it's a size 11 in men's, 
So you know, if you ever do get this kit, that's roughly what that size is. So we're gonna go ahead and stick it in here. And the reason I do this is, so when I'm cleaning the shoe, one, covers the tongues are gonna fall into the shoe, which I don't want to happen. It kind of pushes it up, so I'm still gonna fall in a little bit, but I can take care of that. And two, with this front part, I can like, it gives the shoe a shape, so then I can go ahead and like put some kind of pressure on there. And it's easier to clean the shoe and maneuver around with the brushes and stuff. So yeah, what we're gonna do is pour some water in our bowl. Then after that, put some of the solution in there. And mainly how we used all the other brushes for the other one, we're probably not going to. We're probably gonna mainly stick to this soft bristle brush and maybe the all-purpose brush. But we'll see, we'll see how everything goes and how the shoe takes to it. But as y'all can see that I didn't even pick up on the first time. Look at this. Look at that. Look at that. Alright. It's dirty. We're gonna need to clean it. So let's do it. Alright. So let's get to it. Alright guys, let's get our bowl. Let's get this water. Yeah. Let's pour a little bit in there. I mean yeah, a good halfway of the bowl probably. We're gonna go ahead and shake up our sneaker cleaner solution. Cut the thing open. Probably put like two squirts. Two squirts is fine, probably. Yeah. Running low, gonna have to get some more. And then, yeah, maybe we got our towel, so you know, try not to spill. But yeah, let's get to it with this soft bristle brush and set this thing up a bit. And once again, like I mentioned in the last video, we're gonna go ahead with our with our small, well not small, just kind of circular motion and being gently once again because of the logo on there and get deep into the shoe and make sure everything's good. All right, so let's, let's do it. All right, guys, we went ahead and used the soft bristle brush. We're gonna go ahead and move on to the, ah, the all-purpose brush. And we're gonna get it through with the rubber right here and, you know, the midsole. So the toe box and the midsole. So, you know, let's get to it.
All right, guys, we went ahead and did the midsole, which honestly, it's not that dirty to begin with. It's just mainly there's more scuffs on it than anything, which you can't really just scrub out and then just be gone. Uh, I'm probably gonna try something later for that after I get this first part done. But as y'all saw in the Yeezy video, I went ahead and cleaned the sole of the shoe because it was dirty, so there was some kind of difference when I cleaned it. But this one, I might just do a quick scrub because it's really not that bad. It's just more upper on the shoe that I have to focus on. So let's go ahead and give this like a quick couple seconds scrub, like a 10 second scrub just to get it over with. But just, you know, so we can get, make it look somewhat better than it is now. So yeah, let's do it. All right, went ahead and got that done. Usually I would switch brushes and go to the hard or the brass depending on how many stains or how rough it would get just because usually the softer bristle brushes just don't don't catch that dirt. But this, this honestly, the sole is not that bad. It's really nothing to clean. There's probably just like one little grime stain on there, but it's really not that bad. So what I'm gonna do is, I don't have my microfiber towel up here. But I'm gonna grab my microfiber, my microfiber towel, and clean this up and dry it up real quick. And then, it most likely we're gonna have to throw this one in the wash because usually for cloth type materials on shoes like this, like suede or uh, canvas, as you can see, you mainly need the wash for it. But one. One thing, uh, I'm pretty, I'm pretty satisfied. The CDG logo is on there, so I'm not really too worried about it coming off. It, it's pretty good. I scrubbed kind of hard on it just to see if it would come off. I'm scratching at it, and does I don't really see anything going wrong with it. Like nothing's bad gonna happen. But yeah, we went ahead and did this part, so we're gonna dry it up real quick. Not nothing too serious, and I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the wash. All right, so let's get to it. All right, guys, what's up? As you can see, I'm back at the couch, and I, I look in the camera, and you can't really pick up the uh, how clean the shoe got, but it did get cleaner. Uh, but one thing I'm gonna have to do is repeat the process just because there's some deeper stains in there that I just couldn't get out the first time. And uh, I didn't really feel like, I'm not gonna record it again, just because it's literally the exact same process that I've showed y'all already. So what I'm most likely gonna do is, I'm just gonna go ahead and get this over with. And then I'll go ahead and um, post some pictures at the end of the video to uh, you know show the before and after, I guess, the cleanliness of it. And uh, yeah, but now that I'm looking at it, the shoe wasn't that dirty to begin with. And I guess this was just a light, a light video that I just, I just needed to put some wine to put something out for you guys, just so you guys can you know, stay updated with me, but yeah. It's not that dirty of a shoe. One thing I tried to do is clean the laces. I got them clean, but my thing is, I think they're kind of like an off-white. I'm probably gonna have to just buy some white laces because I bleached them. I did what I had to do and they just did not go back white. So what I'm thinking is they're not even supposed to be white to begin with. And if they are, they're just dirty to a point where it's just not going back to it. So, what I'm thinking is, we're probably just gonna have to buy some new laces. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching the video. Please hit that subscribe button, hit the like, comment if y'all wanna see something else. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks guys for watching, peace.